What's up everybody, this is Android 7K and today I'm coming at you showing you how I applied black carbon fiber vinyl film to the outdoor uh, AR drone 2.0 hull. You're going to need an X-Acto knife, a heat gun or hair dryer, and I'm using the Trimbright brand carbon fiber vinyl adhesive film. I got this at uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts, it's a great product. Uh, you just measure it the length of the hole. If anything, you want to go a little bit longer. You want to do a hot dog fold in half and then cut it uh, down the middle of the fold. And then you have two pieces, perfect length and, and width for the left and the right side of your AR Drone 2.0 outdoor hole. This video is long and I'm doing a voiceover after the fact. There was a lot of background noise when I was doing this. Uh, so. I, what I want you to just, I hope this is helpful, uh, it's the whole process of one side and you just repeat it for the other side. Uh, I found it, a lot of people probably had a lot of doubts and uh, would like to see the process from beginning to end and this is what this video does. It shows the process from beginning to end and so I'm going to just basically do this intro and I'm going to let the video run. And if you have any questions, just leave your questions in the comment below. What I'm doing right now is I'm, uh, I've taken the uh, adhesive covering off the back of the uh, vinyl film and I'm applying it along the top line of the, uh, the hole. There's basically a kind of that empty space that goes down the line. What happened to my original hole covering, I left it uh, in the car on a hot day and the original covering just melted and crinkled up. Uh, so don't do that. Don't leave it. You you don't leave your AR drone exposed in, in your car on a hot day. So I got that on, and now I'm about to use my heat gun. When you use the heat gun, two things: when you're at medium heat, you don't want to apply it to any one area any longer than four to five seconds. When on high heat, you don't want to expose it to any area longer than two seconds. Uh, it gives it when, once you apply the heat it makes the uh, vinyl very pliable so you can stretch it and pull it over the curves and contours of the hull. Uh, once I apply the heat the basic motion is this is heat tug and rub and uh, so I heat it I tug it over the area and I rub out the imperfections and if, if you've done like if you've made an error it, it don't feel bad about just pulling it right up and reapplying you can do that uh, j another thing is that just don't trim your vinyl with your exacto knife until you're sure it's laid out the way you want it until you've basically uh, tugged it and rubbed it every way you want then you can trim it up with your exacto knife and if you see something after you trim it don't panic but just don't pull it up you it's okay to heat that area briefly and then rub it but do not pull it up because you run a risk of having that area shrink in the heat and then if you've trimmed it you don't have any area to play around with uh, you risk ruining a stretch of uh, vinyl there so that's just some tips with that being said I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys watch the remainder of this video it's about 18 minutes long if you have any questions uh, please uh, don't hesitate to either uh, instant message me or just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get at them but uh, again the basic motion to remember is heat tug and rub hey thank you guys for watching I hope you find this helpful God bless you and live the dream